Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we have the second developer beta of iOS 15 available for install over the air. So we are going to go ahead and check out what's new in beta two of iOS 15, what's been fixed from beta one, and future release date schedules for what we can expect in the future of iOS 15 beta releases. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we do, I just wanted to remind you all about the AirPods Max giveaway that's sponsored by Provado VPN. And that link is in the video description down below. Just make sure you are subscribed to us on the YouTube platform and follow us on Twitter to enter and you are all set to go. All of the information from the giveaway can be found at solo.to slash updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some of the bug fixes that needed to be made from beta one. There was actually quite a few, so I won't take up too much time, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was fixed. So first up, we have the FaceTime bug, specifically where FaceTime wouldn't work with devices running iOS 14. Now, this was an issue that was kind of like 50-50 between users and even different based upon which device I was using. Now, the second issue with FaceTime was just random crashing and that wouldn't really uh, be dependent on what device I was using or if someone was running iOS 15 or not. Um, it would just crash altogether and that's to be expected with a beta one. Now, both of these issues have now been fixed and it seems like FaceTime is fully functional now in beta two of iOS 15, uh, so no worries there. Now, next up is the Apple TV remote on the lock screen crashing your device. And this is something that happened 100% of the time when you would try to change the volume via the button controls. But this issue is now fixed in beta two as well. So no issues there uh, any longer as we don't have that bug. Now, next up is issues relating to AirPods and AirPods Max headphones. So for me specifically, I would try to use my AirPods Max headphones and would find that they weren't even paired to my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which they've been paired to since day one uh, of getting them. So it was really weird, uh, that issue specifically, and one that I've only experienced on beta one of iOS 15. So it's definitely from that beta, but all seems to be good now in beta two, no issues with that. And hopefully that continues on throughout the betas. Now, some of these smaller issues were find my locations that were being shared with others specifically, um, either wouldn't update regularly, they would kind of lag, or wouldn't show your location at all. Um, another issue was HomePod audio wouldn't work, certain sites would crash the Safari app, and optimized battery charging seemed to be going haywire as it started to almost readjust every day to just different times that were so random. Now, just to be clear, all of these issues have now been fixed here in beta two and are not present in beta two. So if you were having any of these issues in beta one, you should no longer be experiencing those when you update to beta two. Okay, so getting into what's new specifically here in beta two, and if we go into the settings app, then onto general and about, you'll see that if you tap on software version, we have a new build number. It's 19A5281H. Now, if we go lower into this menu, you can see we have a new modem firmware that's 2.06.00. And uh, that has been updated significantly versus what we saw before. That was 2.03 um, point, I believe 05. So that's been updated significantly since what we saw last. Okay, so first change, if we go into the settings app and just for reference, if you want to uh, just know, um, the beta one is on the left-hand side and beta two is on the right-hand side. So that is the difference here. Um, so when going down, you can see that in our battery um, map menu, the icons for the battery charging are significantly different here. They're way bigger and there's actually a line at the bottom there showing when this phone was uh, charging. Now, if you look on the left, you can see that there's just a very tiny charging icon, nothing really significant, but on the right-hand side, things are more prominent and you can basically understand this mapping of um, your battery charge levels a little bit more um, with this kind of more um, apparent battery like charging um, period, it shows you like your timeline of when it was charging and it's just a lot more apparent than what we were seeing before. 
Now, when you go into the iCloud menu here in beta two, you can see that the private relay and hide my email um, basically options or menus have now been uh, moved down into the main menu of the iCloud menu. Previously, as you can see on the left, they were in their own separate menu. And I think Apple did that for a very specific reason, just to show that like, hey, these are new features, but it looks like these have just been moved down and they're a little bit higher up in the menu versus some other settings there. So they're part of like the main photos, iCloud backup keychain um, menu there at the top. So they're a little bit more prominent. Now also, if we go down um, specifically to um, the apps here and we see the uh, weather icon, you can see that on the right, the sun is on the right hand side and on the left in beta one, it was on the left hand side, a very, very, very small change there. Um, not, not anything too significant, but just wanted to let you guys know that that has changed in the settings app specifically. Now, moving on to something even more major, and um, the icon has changed for the Maps app, and personally for me, it looks so much better than what we were seeing before and reflects the new updated UI specifically for the Maps app. So if we go into the Maps app here, um, you can see that things look fairly similar from what we saw before, but at the top right-hand corner, you'll see that um, the different kinds of maps that you can cycle through, that icon has changed from the Maps icon to now a car icon, so it's a little bit more discernible to users. So if we tap on both of those icons at beta one and beta two, um, you'll see that the menu is vastly different from what we saw before. So if you look at explore, driving, transit, and satellite views, all of those have changed from what typically we were seeing in iOS 14, um, that basically transferred over to iOS 15, but they look totally different now in iOS 15. Um, the Explore is a lot more detailed. Driving just shows you a little bit more detail as to um, you know hazards and everything like that. Um, transit, just a little bit different view, but I believe that the satellite looks so much better before it just kind of looked a little bit odd and out of place. And now in uh, beta two, it looks like kind of like the pattern or the look of it just looks more in tune with every other option on this menu. Now, if we back up out of this menu, you can see that the location icons just below um, the menu that we're in, the one on the left in beta one was uh, slightly bigger. And now on the right in uh, beta two, it's actually just a little bit smaller. So I'm not really understanding why they changed that or tweak these things, but it was fine to me before, but they have made that change here in the Maps app specifically. Now, if we go into uh, the weather app specifically, and um, you can see that things pretty much look the same at the top, but when you go towards the bottom of um, the, the menu here, the menu option, you can see that um, at the bottom, things are definitely looking a little bit different. To me, they look a lot cleaner um, in the new version in beta two. Um, so you can have uh, more options here. Manage notifications here at the bottom is an added option, something that we weren't seeing before. And then you can see that um, kind of like the information about um, air quality data, map data, all provided by the weather channel. And um, I believe breeze meter, um, those are two things that um, support the, the maps app, or I'm sorry, the weather app. You can see those at the bottom. So things just look a little bit cleaner here at the bottom versus what we were seeing before and a little bit more refined. Now, one thing that I noticed specifically in the notes app is that um, there's a new notification there at the top. And basically it says find text and attachments. And essentially what this means is if you uh, go ahead and scan a document using iOS 15 now, you can actually uh, search anything on that document now in iOS 15 because of the text uh, basically recognition. So once you scan that, um, your phone takes all of the text and you can actually search that text now um, specifically in the notes app. So that is now an option for you here in iOS 15. Okay, so I've gone ahead and muted everything on um, FaceTime here, but I wanted to show you something new in FaceTime. It's actually really cool. Um, so it's called SharePlay, and this is something that Apple previewed at WWDC 2021, um, but it was actually grayed out in beta one of um, the iOS 15 betas, and now it's actually able to um, work. So I can share my screen um, with whoever I'm working with or uh, FaceTiming with. Um, and as you can see here, um, if I go ahead and move uh, this phone into the picture, you can see that the screen is displaying on that display.
So if I swipe around, you can see that it changes within that view. Um, and I can go ahead and highlight this view. I can uh, map that out on the bottom. So basically what I can do is I can have their screen go live on my screen and have it full picture and just have um, their face at the top right hand corner there. So this is actually really cool. I can go into different apps. They can see exactly where I am in that app. So this is actually really cool. I'm, I think that this is gonna help, especially with you know me showing like my parents something, like how to do something. I can actually see what they're doing on their screen. And then also this goes to like an entertainment factor. I can see what other people are watching. So it's just a really cool new experience uh, that being SharePlay. And I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that feature specifically. So it's now um, available on uh, iOS 15 beta two. If you go to the uh, right hand corner here, share my screen, um, that is now an option there in beta two of iOS 15. Okay, so a very small change specifically for the widgets menu is if you go into the widgets menu, go down to Siri suggestions, the icon has changed. Uh, the previous icon was something that we saw in iOS 14. Uh, that was in beta one there on the left-hand side. Now it's updated to the new icon on the right-hand side now in beta two. Now something else, a new widget that we saw here added in beta two. Um, basically it's not a new widget, it's just a more refined widget. Here on the left in beta one, typically that's what we would see in um, iOS 14. Um, so in iOS 14, that's typically what we see, like all the information you see there on the left. And now it's been updated to reflect the changes made in iOS 15, um, specifically made to the weather app. So we have a little bit more data as far as what's coming through and everything just looks a little bit nicer. And that's also um, just reflected um, on the big one, not anything on the smaller ones. So on the smaller ones, it pretty much looks the same um, versus what we we're saying, what we we're seeing before. Um, but as you can see, there are just slight changes changes in what we were seeing in um, beta one versus beta two, um, but nothing too major when it comes to the uh, weather widget. Now, something else that we saw specifically for the Messages app is FaceTime calls now show in the Messages app. So um, this is something that I've actually wanted to see for a very long time, just because you can see all your calls and FaceTime calls in the Messages app now in beta two versus in beta one, they wouldn't show up there. You'd have to go to the phone app to see um, the different call logs and everything like that. But it looks like now in beta two, they're actually showing up in the Messages app specifically. Okay, let's move on to the performance of the CPU and GPU, and then we'll get into to battery performance as well. Now, when talking about chip performance, we didn't even really see any real gains between iOS 14.6 and iOS 15 beta one. So I really wasn't expecting to see anything major going on here with beta two. And that's sort of what we've come to here in beta two as an official release. The performance between beta one and beta two is almost within the margin of error. And that performance isn't all that much faster than what we saw in iOS 14.6. So with that said, when you update, don't expect for things to be so much faster and so much smoother as we've seen before, but do expect for a lot of those glitchy UI bugs uh, to be resolved as there's a lot less of those now here in beta two versus beta one. Now moving on to battery performance and things have been really interesting here in beta one. Beta one presented a serious issue with battery life and I think that has a lot to do with widgets eating up a lot of power. There was also a major background app refresh issue, and I'm not exactly sure if this was a bug with iOS 15 or it was due to apps not being updated to work with iOS 15 specifically. Um, so I did stay on top of what was causing the battery drain during my use of beta one, uh, but when changing some of the settings back to what I had before, it seems like the battery drain issue has now been fixed here in beta two. So I'm guessing it was a beta one issue solely, but do keep uh, close attention as to what's eating up your battery life when on the beta because it might be one of those two issues. So if you guys were experiencing less than great battery life running beta one, you should have much better experience here in beta two, but do keep on top of that battery life and what's draining it specifically. Okay, so let's move on to future release schedules. And as I mentioned in my beta two preview video, Apple doesn't exactly deviate all too often from their typical beta release schedule from years past. Now, with that being said, I did accurately predict when beta two would come out to our devices. And with that, I think I have a pretty good idea as to when beta three should be released as well. Now, according to past history, we should see beta three in about two more weeks, putting us at a release date of July 6th or July 7th, depending on uh, which day Apple wants to uh, release that. And it should be around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
Now, beta three will also serve as the first public beta for public beta testers. So if you've been waiting for that release, do expect to see it around that date. And you can expect to find more info at beta.apple.com. That's where you sign up for the public betas. So guys, that was iOS 15 beta two and all of what you need to know about this specific release. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you have any further information about this beta that you want to add, you can mention it down there as well. Now, if any of you wanted to hop onto the developer betas right now, make sure to check the link in the video description down below for more information on how to do that. But if you want to wait until the public beta, you can go to beta.apple.com for more information on the public betas. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this iOS 15 beta 2 release video, and we look forward to seeing you in some future content. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's iOS beta update video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check out the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. And here you can check out channel memberships for some really cool beta specific perks. There's our merch store for some really awesome shirts, Twitter where we can uh, give more up-to-date info on beta updates and a link also to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week talking about everything going on in the world of tech. Oh, and one more thing, I'm pretty sure there's a giveaway link down there as well, as we will have giveaways every single month from June until September. So make sure to check all of those out as well. All of those giveaways are sponsored by Provado VPN. So make sure to check out their no log VPN services to show them some love. So thank you again for watching today's update video, and we hope to see you in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.